welcome back to part two of uh, renovating a wicket after use now um, we soften up the wicket um, we've made some holes in it now so we did this we got tractor mounted cedar um, but most people got a sail roller just something to get that seed into the holes there near the holes and then with that with the lawnman or a brush or anything we'll go up and down with that just to brush some seed off the surface into the holes um, just showing if you haven't got a sour roller or you can use it just use a garden fork there make some holes the ideal sort of depth is 10 15 mil for seed a rake you can make you can make some grooves in there there's two tend to come up in lines i prefer a, a sort of circular circular hole myself um what how much seed uh, i put about two to three uh kilograms on so that's why how i tend to work it out so a cricket wicket like this is roughly 68 square meters 68 times so we're gonna put 35 grams on that's your, there's your number so i tend to go about 50 grams a square meter which is uh two to three kilograms um, so that's that's kind of how i do it yeah and then that's sort of that's the second stage so get some holes in what I do with these bits here, I probably won't do it now, uh, but um, I'll, I'll probably put some just seed in these little thicker bits. I've gone over it with the, uh, the fertilizer spreader there. And I'm just going to finish it off where I think it's, especially where it's brown and bare there, I'll just give it a bit extra by hand. So just in that bit there, and there, a bit extra by hand. And then that will bring us on to, we'll let this dry out then. Because uh, if you're going to do any top dressing, always work with dry, dry top dressing. Um, so, and that will be part three. So that will be coming very soon. Thanks for watching.